we're in Quebec today and we're at the Fest of Quebec. And this is um, just been here for a lot of years. It's like the story of Quebec. And all the seasons, we've got winter at the top, we've got fall, spring, summer. We've got uh, all the aspects of uh, the culture here. We've got lover people in the woods. We've got uh, Champlain in the green bottom, who is the founder of, of Quebec. We've got Jacques Cartier over on the left there with the, the, uh, the Declaration of Quebec. We've got lots of famous people from throughout history, including the Ursuline nuns, including famous poets, writers, and musicians here. And it has a, the story of Quebec. It's a really nice way uh, thing to check out in while you're in the old town. And now we're going to check out the Place Royale. And this is one of the most photographed spots in Quebec, and it's lovely. Royale, the royal place, and this is in the center of the old part of Quebec town. It's very lovely, it's one of the, the central buzzes of activity here. Um, we've got statues, we've got lovely little um, different restaurants and coffee shops all around. And over here we've got the Notre Dame de Victoire. This is the oldest stone church in Canada. It's very nice. It's actually open today, so we can check it out. Um, and you can see around the square, there's a lot of nice places. There's different artisan stores with jewelry, with um, sculptures. All around here, we've got a gem store. Over in the corner, we have the Boutique Métis Adapt, which is, has a lot of jewelry and things from local artists around the Quebec area, which is also where my necklace came from as well. And uh, right here, we've got the Museum of the Glass Royale. It tells you the history about the old town of Quebec. Um, it's very nice, and we also have one of our favorite coffee shops over in the corner as well. Okay, we're in the Place Royale still, and we're at our favorite coffee shop in Quebec right now. This is called the Maison Smith's House. They have uh, three of these uh, coffee shops throughout the old city of Quebec. And this is our favorite one because it's a beautiful setting of the place. We'll it up here with lots of locals, and we have a little bit of wine, nice coffee in the They have a lot of really nice um, pastries and croissants are our favorite. And they have macaroons, local cakes, very nice. This is the one near the cathedral, and there's a nice little courtyard. And we have the, the signature coffee, the maple cafe latte, and we're going to enjoy a butter croissant. We're down in the Rue Sou au Matalot, uh, and along the street we have lots of really nice art galleries with local artists. We've got Gallery, Gallery La Croix here, and we've got a lot more down here. There's a mixture of uh, modern art, traditional art, um, just a lot of local artists and lots of paintings of Quebec, which are really beautiful. If you're into art, this is definitely an area that you should check out, and it's a pleasure to support the all the galleries to see what we have. Going down from the upper part of Quebec down to the lower part again. And a couple of things to point out here that are um, very nice. This, well, this is the breakneck steps. That's the nickname for them. Um, the reason for this is all the poor workers, all the kind of working class um, blue collar workers, especially the Irish immigrants, would live down here in the lower part of town. However, all the pubs were up in the upper part of town. So they would live down here, come up these steps, go to the pub, stay for quite a while, and head back home in, at the end of the evening. A little bit worse for wear. And you can imagine what these steps are like, especially in the middle of winter with some ice. It's a little bit dangerous, um, hence the name Breakneck Steps, because that's what a lot of people did on their way home from the bar. Also right behind it, we've got a very nice street here. This is called the Rue Petit Champlain, um, which is supposed to be called um, Little Ch um, Champagne, Champlain's Little Street. However, the way they named it, it actually means Little Champlain Street, after Champlain who founded Quebec. But nowadays, this is a very nice street. You've got lots of artisans, places, lots of local crafts, jewelry, things like that, and souvenirs. And it's a nice place to go shopping with lots of cute little bars and restaurants. And this is um, the Cathedral de Notre Dame. This is the main cathedral of Quebec. It's absolutely beautiful inside. And inside, over to the left, we can't see the moment. There's also uh, one of the seven doors um, blessed by the Pope. And you can, you can see that inside. When you go in, all your sins are washed away. It's an absolutely beautiful building. Over to the left of it, right here, you can also see this is the old monastery of Quebec and it's it's now um, a university. It's been a boys school for teaching since it, it was built and it's, it's a beautiful building, a beautiful part of the city. And we're going to go inside and have a look. Inside the Cathedral of Notre Dame. It's absolutely beautiful. The architecture, the sculptures, the gold tempura, the stained glass windows. It's just beautiful. 
very special place. the convent of the Ursuline nuns. Now this is right here, it's a beautiful convent, there's a large um, area that goes back there, lots of buildings, the church, and also up here where they would have stayed. Um, this has been a school over the years as well as a convent, and in the moment it's both. And the Ursuline nuns came over from France, and they were the very first people to educate girls in Quebec. Before that, girls were not taught to read or write, it was only the boys. And so they brought education over in return for obviously spreading their religion as well. It's a beautiful building, there's a small museum on it as well, and it's a very nice place to visit. Hi, so now we're going to go for lunch. We're in the oldest building in Quebec, um, the oldest house in Quebec. This restaurant's called Oasian Canadian, the ancient Canadian. And we're going to go in for some traditional Quebecois lunch. Oh, Ancien Canadian, we're about to have lunch um, from the lunch set special, which is I think, a good deal. It's uh, 20 Canadian dollars, you get three courses and a glass of wine or beer. Um, I'm going to have the pea soup grandmère, the grandmother's green pea soup, and uh, Nick's having the, the wild meat that day. So we're going to try this. Okay, it's time for our main course now. I'm going to have some Quebecois meat pie, local country fair, um, local meat pie. Um, looks nice. And also, Nick is having the white taffy sausage uh, with baked beans. So, we're going to enjoy our main course. For dessert, I have maple sugar pie, which looks delicious. And it has um, maple syrup bread pudding. It looks very nice. And we're going to tuck into this one. A um, couple of things to find out that are nice here. We have a really cool sculpture in Melbourne by Salvador Dali. The Chateau Complex is right here. We've got the square and this takes you down to the Cathedral of Notre Dame. And then over here, on this side, we have the funicular. And this is where you can ride up and down from the lower part of town to the upper part of town. It costs about $2 to use it and it means you avoid the giant staircase. So you can do that if you like. Also right behind you here in one of the bandstands, it says Brunsnack. This is the only one that's actually covered up here, the rest of them are open. This is a tourist information point, you can get a lot of good information there. And also all the historical tours of Quebec, the local ones, you start from there. They take you up to castles, to the um, Prince of Abraham, um, to the Citadel, everything like that. So that goes up right there. Terrace du Frein, different terrace. Uh, we have lots of nice little bandstands set up. to the UK, the Victoria right here. And then we have the main event of Quebec. This is the Chateau Frontenac. It is actually a giant hotel. It's not a chateau, exactly. It has 380 rooms. It's the most expensive hotel to stay in here, I believe. Uh, it's very nice. It's a beautiful backdrop. And it's the main focal point of the skyline of the city. And it's the iconic, beautiful symbol of Quebec. Salut. OK, now we're in my favorite, favorite part of Quebec. And this is on the uh, Terrasse uh, du Gardement. And um, basically, I love this part because this, because of the view. We have the Chateau Frontenac right here. You can see the beautiful main part of the skyline of Quebec City. And then also you can see the St. Lawrence River. And we have our ship from Amsterdam right there. You can see it from here. And also you can see it down um, to, to the terrace there. You can see the park. Up behind us, we have the fortress up behind us. Right here, the citadel's behind there, and you've got the historical part of the town as well. And this is beside the Plains of Abraham, where they had the major battle of Quebec. So it's a beautiful view, and that wraps it up from Quebec. Au revoir!